Hello, people. Hope you've been guys. <clears throat> Hope you guys been having a good week. Um, today we're going to go ahead and talk about what we're going to do, and I do got some jokes for you guys. I know I was going to say I was going to do them Monday and Friday, but um, I I scored on them yesterday. And um, today we're going to work on the Pilates ring to build that resistance in. And we use the cane, and we're just going to go overall like just try to get things going. And I do have some jokes for you guys, like I said. I'll be telling them out. They're short jokes, so not short people jokes, but they're just short jokes, so hopefully they turn out good. So, um, I don't know, we'll just try to stick with the things that work. Do you know that French fries really ain't made in France? You know where the, you know why, or you know that french fries aren't made in France? They're actually made in Greece. <laughs> Anyways, they're a bunch of corny little jokes, but they're clean. And I do have my knee brace and my FO brace on. So, um, whew. Like I said, um, Monday I had to take PB to the vet. And um, for her ear, she had an ear infection, but they gave her some liquid to clean it out. That's not a joke. That's for real. She's just there resting, but she's okay. She's she's doing good. So what we're going to do with the Pilates ring, we're going to start doing this to build resistance, okay, people? You want to start building the strength up, so you want to use your good hand, and you want to start resisting with your effective hand start building strength up you want to keep the elbow locked out as best you can one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yes i'm going over all or all around the place but i'm just trying to um just show you guys start getting out of the comfort zone and start doing other exercises and just start doing more people if you guys get anything from my videos I just want to show you guys that things can happen not all of us are going to get a hundred percent back on recovery and some of us will I hope we all do I just want to inspire you guys I want to do the best I can to get you guys motivated it's tough people and there's some people that recover a hundred percent I'm happy for those people and there's some people like us that weren't being able to talk when we first started, like when I first had my stroke, when I was at the recovery hospital. Man, I had to learn how to talk, I had to go through alphabets, I had to learn how to re-talk, I had a droopy face, the side of my face was my whole left side of my body was dead down. Like the first night I was at the hospital, I stood up, didn't know that what a stroke was, I didn't even know, I just couldn't comprehend things. This was the first, within 12 hours I was at the hospital. I stood up because I had to go poop and stuff. And um, the bedpan, I wasn't too sure about. I never used a bedpan. And I couldn't talk. So every time I hit the like the button for the nurse, she would come in and i tried to tell her I, I couldn't do it. And then so they took off. And I just ignored it for a little bit. But I really had to go. So I decided that, you know what, I could get up and do this. I didn't know I couldn't walk at all. I was still before my 100% wheelchair bound. This is before wheelchair ever happened. This is when I was still laying in bed. And I just had to go to the restroom. And I just didn't want to use the bedpan. So I stood up. You know, you got the little tables that got wheels on it that go over your bed in the hospital. Well, I went to go grab it. And it slid out. I didn't have, the wheels weren't locked. I slid out on there. I tried to grab it with this hand, not knowing that this hand had nothing to do with anything. It didn't react to anything. It couldn't even do anything like this. You know what I mean? And um, it was tough, people. So the table slid out. Couldn't stand up on my leg either. Went down, didn't have no braces because I didn't even know anything. The braces didn't come in until like six, seven, eight months after all that. And um, so basically the table slid out. I fell down. I was wearing glasses. And I slid down. I hit my face on the end of the table. And I'm getting two little shiners because I broke my face on the... I, well, I hit my face on the table, like the little leg that goes underneath it. I fell down and hit there, and I had like little two black eyes and stuff. And then from when I first had the stroke that night, 12 hours prior to that, when I was discovered on the floor, 
I stood up and I hit the end table, not knowing that I had a stroke. This is the first fall I had. And this is what happened when my roommate came in. And um, he came in. He's like, what happened? I was getting up to go to the restroom. Stood up, hit my head on the end table, knocked myself out, I guess. I don't know what happened, but I was on the floor. And then I finally got somebody to come to the room. I kept throwing shoes out the door because I couldn't talk. I didn't know I had a stroke. I didn't know anything. I was just like going, and I ended up peeing in myself too because that's where I was on my way to go to the restroom. I, I stood up, didn't know I had a stroke, hit my head on the end table, had a big old knot on my forehead. Every time you hit your head, you always want to stick your MRIs, you know what I mean? Or CAT scans or whatever they got to do. So that was the first time when I first got to the hospital. Then they had to drill my head with a couple of hoses to drain some of the fluid that was in there, blood or whatever. And then, um, like I said, a couple hours later is when I had to go to the restroom. That's when I fell on my face. And um, so I looked pretty bruised up. So that's the second time I went to the CAT scan or the MRI or whatever. And then there was a third time I ended up getting up again because I kept ringing the thing, but they're understaffed over there in Arizona. And um, I fell down again. And then I hit my shoulder. I came down on it because I tried to hold on to something. Couldn't hold on to anything. Yeah, it was... This is all within the first 24 hours. Three times fell down. Not to understand what a stroke was. And um, I'm starting to get it now that it's going to take a lot of work. But if you've seen where I first came, and I want to get you guys pumped up to do more. I want you guys to just get out there and start making, making the most of your day. Start just... Start doing what you can, people. Because if you ain't doing it, how are you going to get through it? You know what I mean? You want to get better, you got to start putting the work in. You got to do the extra work. I'm putting extra work in. I didn't go to physical therapy yesterday because um, the transportation, the insurance, and they called up a different transportation company. And I wasn't used to that. And I'm going to film that stuff, what I do. I've been making videos. I got like two of them in the works right now. So my videos will be like more like a regular video. It won't be just like me talking like the way I do. A one-shot deal. I'll be editing, putting music in the background, making it seem more dramatic and cinematic for all people out there that probably haven't did anything or haven't seen my videos the way they go. I want to start being more real about like making little movies. I probably won't be doing them Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll probably try to incorporate them all into one thing, like one workout for arms and one one video for the next thing, which I still kind of do, but right now I'm just trying to, like I said, I didn't go to physical therapy yesterday. If you can, hit the thumbs up, um, hit the bell button, it'll remind you when I got videos coming out, and leave a comment, and please subscribe to my channel. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't cost anything. It'll help me out in the long run, and it keeps me motivated just to keep doing these videos. I hope you guys, and I do like all you guys' comments you guys leave me. I try to do this stuff because it inspires me to keep coming out here and do these monday wednesday friday i know i talk a little bit too much and i just do a little bit of odd things once in a while like i did on monday's video acting like i was a chinese movie but i just try to make you guys laugh i, I ain't trying to be always serious i want to make because i used to be like a joker guy before i had my stroke i had a better sense of humor now it's just like i gotta tell corny jokes i, I used to come up with stuff just off the off the tip of my finger you just bam now it's just like, I got to think about things and I got to kind of write down, I have a little cheat sheet there and I got like little PowerPoints and stuff and I didn't need that kind of stuff before, I used to just bam, off the top. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do the cane thing, shoulder width apart and what we're going to do is front rises, okay? Always keep the elbow locked out. One, two, three, four, five. What you want to do is we're going to rotate a little bit. And keep the arm locked out. Keep that elbow locked out, okay? One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to do a rotation of this. One, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four, five. I just want to show you guys that things can be done. And we're going to do the side lateral pull downs with the, with the resistant band, okay? I'm 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's so weak. But you got to start somewhere, people. And then when I put on my effect, it's like, it feels like I just added like 30 pounds to it or something, which it's not. So try your best. Try to keep it steady. And always keep your elbow locked out, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, man. There we go. And I was online the other day. I finally got a date. And um, and I happened to tell her that I was going to be going to the gym. And she goes, oh, I go to that gym too. I was like, oh, really? You want to meet me over there? We could talk over there. And she goes, yeah, we could do that. And then so I, I got to the gym. I waited for her. She never showed up. So I, I take it we're not going to work out. Like I said, I'll have a couple of corny jokes out through all my videos. Hopefully the ones at the end will be a little bit better and fat, funnier. But I'm just trying to give you guys a laugh here and there. Even like when I did my video on Monday doing a little Kung Fu Chinese movie thing. I just try to... I just want to have good spirits, people. I want this year to be a better year for everybody. Not just for me, for you guys too. But you guys got to put the work in. It's going to take a lot of work, people. But when you're done, like with me, you don't even know. That's why I always show you guys what I could do with my arm. I'm proud of that because I could not even lift my arm up that high. It still shakes. It shakes all the time. But you ain't going to you ain't gonna get there by just sitting there on your butt and writing none. It's not going to happen. It's me putting in a lot of work to make it happen. And it's just... And it also feels good when you're doing it because it's just, you know, all that plasticity and all that cramps and all that. This helps out with all that. So it's not just good for the workout. It's not good for your recovery. It's good. For, it is good for your recovery. But it's just, I like it. It just feels good. It's relaxing. It's like almost therapeutic. That's the word I'm looking for. But anyways, get back to this. Do some circles real quick because... I already did my hand exercise with the 10s, and I already did the stress ball thing. I always do this before I do my videos, and I already did a video pretty much just like this. I just forgot to have my microphone plugged in. I'm always forgetting something silly. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to put our hands behind our back. Because I think they're going to come and arrest me for being so stupid tonight with my jokes. Just kidding. But anyways, you want it? I don't know if you guys can see it. Got the hands behind the back. Roll the shoulders back a little bit. Up and back. Hold it out there. Just get that. Get your shoulder blades to want to touch in the back. Hold it there. Release. Oh, man. That says you're good. It feels good. Or if you can, go into a doorway and hold the, the jam, the door jam. Hold it and pull it like that. That that helps out a lot, too. And um, I just want to let you guys know I appreciate you guys. Like I said, subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost nothing. Thanks for all the positive comments. And, um... Just take care, people, and just keep doing whatever you're doing, and hopefully you guys are doing the exercising, because I want you guys to get improved this year. I want to hear you guys' good stories, like, oh, Rich, this is working out for me. I did this today at, at physical therapy, or I tried some of your workouts. I want to hear the good news. I also want to hear the bad news, but I'd rather hear the better news. And um, stay positive, and I'll see you guys Friday. I'll have some different jokes for you guys, okay?